Florida State. Clemson has turned up the heat on its lawsuit against the ACC, litigation that also affects Florida State's future in the ACC. The Tigers are now seeking punitive damages uh, to Clemson for the ACC's willful and malicious conduct, including slander of title. (laughs) The ACC has been slandering Clemson all of these years. It is ridiculous. We've all been saying it, right? They have been slandering Clemson, and Clemson is well within their rights to demand money out of the Atlantic Coast Conference for this. Uh, The request is part of an amended complaint filed last month in Pickens County, South Carolina, but made public this past Thursday. So we found out about it on Thursday after it had been made public weeks before that. Um, The Tigers, like Florida State, are involved in dueling lawsuits with the ACC, uh, playing out in their respective home states, plus North Carolina, where the uh, conference is headquartered. Many of the arguments have been the same. Both Clemson and Florida State want guidance from home courts about how enforceable a $130 million exit fee is to leave the league. They also seek clarity on who owns the TV rights to their home games if and when they join another conference. Yeah, but Clemson's tactics, as the article points out, have generally been milder than the ones used by Florida State. Uh, But the Tigers have ramped things up by requesting damages from the ACC, a point that wasn't included in the school's initial March complaint. You know, it just, it seemed wild enough that they were already saying, we shouldn't have to pay any of this stuff. These documents that we signed, these contracts that we signed that appear to be pretty legally binding, and yes, to the point of the grant of rights and the Big 12 story that I just pulled up from Dennis Dodd, the word used there was ironclad, that these things are supposed to be pretty ironclad, that you all signed, you all agreed to. Not only should we not have to pay for that, but you guys have screwed this thing up so much that you should have to pay us. You should have to pay us. We're not paying you a dime. You're going to pay us to leave. You know what? We're going to leave. We're going to walk on over to the SEC. We're going to make way more money, and you're going to kick in a little cash on our way out the door. You're going to give us some spending money to take on the road with us so that we can hit up a gas station and uh, and grab some snacks on the way out the door. I mean, it's crazy, but that's that's what Clemson is saying here. And if you're curious as to like a little bit more in the the weeds like the details about how exactly they're trying to pitch this uh clemson's argument centers on the interpretation of grant of rights that's the contract where schools like florida state and clemson give grant their tv rights give or grant their tv rights to the conference to sell the acc sold them to espn and the league then doles out the money to fsu clemson and its peers According to the ACC, the conference owns those TV rights until 2036, even if the Seminoles and Tigers are no longer in the ACC. Uh, The schools disagree. Clemson took the disagreement to another level in its updated complaint. Uh, The school said the conference knew its claims were false or acted with reckless disregard to their truth. So again, playing off this argument that they seem to be rolling with, that's, look, if we're not in the conference, You can't enforce the grant of rights. That's only there for schools in the conference, which again, seems ridiculous because the whole point is we own the rights to your home games, even if you leave. And they're saying, well, if we leave, we're not in the conference anymore. So we're not under this jurisdiction. That seems like tough argument to sell, but they're saying the conference knew that this was false. The conference has been rolling with this. And because they have put that out there publicly, It hurts Clemson's, this is where I'm going to start paraphrasing, but because they have put that out there publicly, this grant of rights is legally binding, it has hurt Clemson's ability to go join another conference because these other leagues are looking at it like, well, Clemson's going to have to still, like the the ACC would still own the rights to their home game. So that makes them less attractive to us. It's harder for Clemson to get into the SEC because the mean old ACC has the gall to hold them to the contract that they signed, this grant of rights that they signed. That seems to be basically Clemson's argument. So you owe us damages because not only are you holding us hostage, but you're making it less appealing for the SEC or Big Ten, I suppose, to come poach us, to come pick us up and allow us to play there. Uh, Here's how the article framed it. Specifically, the school said the conference knew its claims were false or acted with reckless disregard to their truth. Uh, The effect of that malintent, and that's in quotes, uh, malintent, the suit said, was to harm Clemson and deter its exit from the conference by, among other means, seeking to diminish the value of Clemson's intangible property. (sighs) 
they are diminishing the value of Clemson's intangible property. Those, uh, those TV rights for the home games, uh, I, KG, KG 10. I love it. The ACC, the anti Clemson conference, you know, we've all been saying that for so long, Clemson, the ACC has just been working against you, man. Imagine what Dabo could be. If he didn't have the mean old ACC holding them down, the anti Clemson conference. That is, that is so good. The anti Clemson conference. Uh, the dispute over who owns future TV rights affects hundreds of millions of dollars in future revenue for Clemson and Florida State. And any conference either school would join if they leave the league. Uh, why would the Big Ten or SEC want either program if the TV money from their home games continues to go to the ACC? Yeah. Why would they? Well, I, why the hell would you sign it then, Clemson? Why would you sign it? Um, it's just wild. This is so brash. I don't understand how you... I mean, I get the argument that's being made. I don't know how that would actually hold up in court. I don't know how anybody would actually buy that. I would imagine the ultimate goal here for basically everybody is to try to settle. So again, you throw all this stuff out there. You, you keep the ACC having to go defend, even if they're ridiculous claims, more ridiculous claims after more ridiculous claims. You get tired of it. We already had the question asked earlier, would ESPN just get sick of this and cut the contract in February when they have that option? Well, that's kind of the idea here. The ACC is just going to get sick of this. Like you guys are making so many ridiculous arguments and it's like whack-a-mole having to try and run around and knock these down. So just settle with us, just settle with us. We'll take a bunch of money off the hook. That's why you spray and pray, see what sticks when you're throwing stuff to the wall. It feels like with uh, these schools here in these lawsuits quote, as a result of the ACC's misstatements, the value of Clemson's media rights has been diminished in the eyes of these and other third parties. Clemson soup said, uh, the diminution, the diminution, the diminution in value injures Clemson impedes its ability to negotiate future media rights agreements and worsens its negotiating position with potential future collaborators. Yeah. That's the point of the grant of rights is that, it hurts your ability to negotiate a place for you to jump and bail on the conference. That is kind of the idea. So I do appreciate Clemson's legal team for explaining to us the entire point of the grant of rights and, and how exactly it is supposed to work. Um, pretty good stuff there. Clemson also asked the South Carolina court to weigh in on its sovereign immunity and whether the public school uh, can be sued in another state. So Clemson's trying to pursue all angles to get a little help, get by with a little help from their friends uh, in their home state. So that's what's going on in the ACC. Um, it's getting more crazy. And as uh, Richard, it looks like it was Richard that pointed it out in the comments. Yeah, I mean, Florida State probably is looking at this like, we should do this too. We're kind of playing off of each other right now. Clemson said, hey, it's – it's time to really uh, to really jump into the deep end here and take this to another level. Florida State's probably going to be like, yeah, why not? Let's do it too. Let's continue to put the pressure on. You know, if Clemson's doing it, we should be too. I would imagine that is a, that is a likely outcome here. 